welcome back to In Pit Lane. Well, you might remember last week we took you down to Geelong for the final round of the Australian Karting Championships. And it was while I was down there that I, I realised just how far the sport has come over the past couple of years. I mean, we used to cover a lot of karting on the show back in the, back in the old days, but uh, we haven't been able to c cover quite as much of, of recent times. And I thought, well, let's find out a bit more about karts. And rather than just you know, invite a carter in, we'd invite him to bring his cart as well. So please welcome to the program Angelo uh, Mazuris, who's uh, the junior national light champion here in uh, here in victoria and third in the australian championship Angelo, yes. thanks for joining us thank you now this, obviously this is your your cart first of all tell us yep. about the cart um it's a cosmic cart yes. where does that come from uh cosmic cart comes from italy um yeah and it's it's, it's funny because uh Karting is massive in Italy, isn't it? Yes, it's huge. It's quite big. You've got, apart from Cosmic, you've got Zanardi and Tony and all yeah, those heaps, yeah. sort of people. And, of course, we do have our own uh, karts here in Australia, which is, of course, uh, uh, Arrow. Arrow and Monaco, yeah. And Monaco. So, yep. so there's a couple of karts that we've got out here. Let's um, let's take a look at the car, because, as I said, yep. they sort of they have changed. It doesn't seem like much, but when you compare footage that we had in the past compared with what we're uh, looking at now, it's a completely different different sort of cart. So, you know, when I'm talking about way before you were born, so um, <laughs> so let's let's start at the front of the, the cart. Nowadays, one of the things that you, you'll notice is that they've got the uh, the aerodynamic uh, sort of shrouding on, yep. the, on the front. Does that actually do anything? Do you get actually air, any aero out of uh, that? Very little, not noticeable for a driver, but it's mainly for safety and uh, protection of the driver. Yeah, because that's the thing yeah. in the old days, you had, it was just totally oh, open yeah. and, you yeah. know, locking wheels, and that was obviously obviously not good um apart from the fact that it looks good i mean it's more space for you to put your sponsors on and, yeah, exactly. and all the rest of it which is yeah. uh, and adds to the professionalism as well um let's have a look up here obviously you've got your your, your camera gopro yep. up there that's your little gopro up there which yep. uh apart from you know being really cool to sort of you know run the GoPro, run the footage yeah. run the gopro footage do you actually use it at all for sort of training and all that? Do you Definitely. Go back and look at it's them? probably one of the biggest aspects in karting now is to have a camera so you can review your footage and uh, see where your errors are and uh, improve on your lap time by uh, seeing your errors and, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, and that's obviously because yeah. this sort of technology you know, back years ago would have been worth you know, tens of thousands of dollars and now you pay yeah. for a couple of hundred. It's been, obviously down at the front, you've got your, uh, your pedals down here, brake yep. on this side, um, got there your, your, your throttle on the other side. The other thing I noticed, well, if you sort of move in here, if you steer the, if you steer the cart, I'm turning it, to the, turning it to the right there, and this isn't moving at all, yep. basically. Why, why is that? Uh, that's all Ackerman adjustment for uh, the cart's grip, so it can give you uh, oversteer and understeer, but Ackerman's mainly on the driver preference and how you would like the front to be set up. So you've got some adjustment there that yeah. you, can, you can dial that in or dial yeah. that out. Yeah. So that's that's what down down here, if we move this. Will, if you just come around here again, we'll just have a look down here. So that's where you make that adjustment, is it? Yeah, and also there would be on some on this side, but there's like a an extra piece to put on here as well. Right, so you can adjust that sort of down, yep. down around around here as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've got the the tank, the, the fuel, fuel tank, tank there. Yep. This is all control chassis, I imagine. Yeah, everything's controlled. There's no radical difference between the different no. between no. the carts. Now, in terms of setting up a, a race car, when you're setting up a race car, obviously in, you, in, you set it up differently depending on wet, dry, dry. the temperature. Yes, like, yeah. can you do that with a cart? Definitely. Like, if you in the wet, you would uh, widen up the cart to create more grip. But when there's uh, too much grip, you would uh, narrow the cart up to create less grip. Okay, and you can do that with these spaces the down spaces here. So these for gold less spaces. Grip. The more you have it out, the more grip you'll have. The more, have in the the more grip, yeah. grip you've, you've got. Can you, and you can soften it up as well, I believe, with the side pods. The side as well. pods, yeah. If you uh, tighten them, the chassis doesn't flex as much, and uh, so on. If it's soft, and you'd be it using that one in dry conditions yeah, when it's dry really and flat, wet, and, yeah. and, Depen and all the rest depending of it. on the conditions. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, and obviously water cooled. Uh, there's your, your radiator yep. there. We'll just move to the back here now. We'll, one thing that people might not realise is if you have a look down here, we've got the um, we've got one brake. There's only the one brake, yeah, which will surprise brake, a lot of yeah. people. With that and your engine braking, of course, do you uh, do you use that in terms of does that help you get around? Does that help you with the driving? How do you use well, that? Well, braking is mainly like. Probably you need you need it. You can't have yeah. you can't have not braking. But um, adjustability in braking is not a lot. It's just the different compounds you can have, and obviously replacing them after they've been worn. 
Yeah, so you, so you do have a little bit of adjustment. A little of, bit, but not not dr drastic. Uh, not not a lot. No, not a lot at all. Let's also we've got a, there's a, a torsion bar back here. Yep. You can sort of make changes back here. I don't know if you can see this wheel just along along here. We'll just have a look over my shoulder there. The torsion bar. So you can actually sort of take that off if there's and give you a yep. bit more flexibility. Exactly. So that's just there for to stiffen up the rear of the cart. If you take it out, it, the chassis flexes a lot more. Are they different sizes, or is it just either oh, on and off? Oh, it's just that, on and off. It's just, so off, it's just, yep. just on and off. Yep. Okay, well, um, we'll have a look also at your engine. Now, this is your engine from uh, from this year. This year, that's my engine from this year. And now, I understand yeah. this is the Vortex engine, but I understand next year it will be another engine, another control engine, also a Vortex. What will be the difference? Uh, just horsepower difference. The same uh, CC, so this is 125cc. Next year's will be 125. Uh, it's just a newer spec engine. Basically, just putting more power into. So, do you, can you do a lot yourself? Is it basically a sealed unit, or is there a lot that you can do with it? To well, sort of, you know, improve it's all the up to the engine builders, but it's all controlled, so you can't put like a bigger piston or, you know, like putting massive uh, differences in the engine. It's all controlled, or you get penalised if you. Yep. Yeah. So how um, how long will you get sort of a, a, a year? Or sort of will you get a year out of an engine, or do you change engines regularly? Well, um, normally you do rebuilds on engines uh, depending on how much you use it. So a certain number of hours you would get your engine builder to replace piston rings and uh, other components of the engine. But you would you can get a year out of an engine depending what engine it is. Okay, well, we're coming up to the end of the season. Of course, we've had the Australian yeah. Championships, but you've still got some races to go. Where do you race next? Uh, next race is in Tasmania. Uh, there. And then after that is Aubrey. Okay, and what are your long-term plans? I mean, are you looking to go into uh, stick with karts, or are you looking to move into full-scale motor racing? Well, uh, we'll finish this year off, and then next year I'll probably stick to this kart and another class um, for the whole year, and hopefully do some Formula 4 and Ford testing. The following year, hopefully, we get some sponsorship and uh, move forward in karting and go into open wheelers and hopefully cars. So is that your? Is, what's your long term? You know, in, in ten years' time, when you, you know, when well, in pit lane is, I mean, we've got to be off the air by then. Yeah. But in ten years' time, I mean, yeah. where do you want to be? Uh, hopefully, some sort of racing, definitely like cars or V8s or something like that. Yeah. Hopefully, would be pretty cool. Well, it's great to uh, it's great to great to see you. Uh, thanks yeah. for bringing the cart yeah. uh, in and, and there, and it, it took a lot of getting it into the studio. Yeah, it was let me hard, tell yeah. you, but uh, we got it in eventually. But uh, good luck, Angelo. Thank and you. For, for now, thanks for coming and joining thanks us for in having Pit me. Lane. Thank you. And we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to bring you all of the international news. Plus, we have music live coming up on In Pit Lane. <laughs> 